All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the sophisticated, lightweight, optimized transportation helper mod, or sloth for short, which is being made by form user Angel125. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a whole load of new rover and robotics parts to help you build a fun little cargo robot which is very handy and is based and inspired off of the NASA Triathlete rover system, which is pretty cool. So let's uh, jump into the space plane hangar and have a look at what we do get. Now, as I mentioned, this is adding in a lot of robotic parts, so it is required that you have the Breaking Ground DLC for everything to work correctly, as again, it's, it's robotics here. Now let's grab ourselves, since this is a rover thing, a Probobodyne H. ESCS right here for size comparison's sake, and then use our janitor's closet mod filter just leaving on Wild Blue Industries. And the first part we have here is the Sloth Rover Body, which is a command pod in its own right, of course being unmanned, being, you know, an unmanned robotics cargo rover. Good times, which has a built-in data transmitter, SAS, and 120 electric charge, and it looks... Gorgeous! I love the detailing in this thing, which is something you can really say about all of the Wild Blue Industry mods. They are all just so wonderfully made. A lot of great detailing on the modeling, the texturing, and just is very, very cool. We got all sorts of lenses for the robot to see out into the world, all the exposed parts. It's just great. Now, as for attachment points, we've got three on the bottom and one in the back, which is... Well, you can really use it for anything, but it's really meant for a specific part that we'll find in robots in a second. Which is really, I think, going to be the next category, as we've got nothing in fuel, nothing in engines, nothing in command and control, nor structural. So into the robotics category, where we have our first part here, the ankle pivot, which is really nicely designed to go into that little point at the back of the uh, rover body. And uh, there we are, is a fun little ankle pivoting joint that does pivot back and forth, working very similar to a trailer hitch, which is why it works well with the uh, rover body part there. Now it does have uh, two different uh, variants uh, to change the aesthetic size of this. No matter what, you're always going to be attaching things to this via its attachment point here, but you have have these two different uh, variants in size so that you can then better attach them to other quote unquote size variants of the other parts here. For instance, the next part, the flex joint, which if we pop in there, it does also have two aesthetic options, which as you can see, fit in nicely with the two sizes of the previous joint. And uh, this one having the following range, as you can see, uh, pivoting uh, back and forth as a, such a good uh, flex joint. Now the next part that we have is uh, the hip joint and this one is probably my favorite looking of all the robotic parts here as again it just has a load of detail to it i very much do enjoy it now this one doesn't have any other aesthetic variants but it has a very interesting range of motion as you can see right there which is pretty cool and offers you some nice movements for your robotic endeavors now the remaining two parts are really not robotic in nature they are well really structural they probably could have gone in that category but they are leg pieces which are meant to be used of course with the various robotic bits to extend your reach and then have another robotic thing down here and they do have two different size variants as you can see there and then come in either a long or a medium leg category which is a very handy now let's pop off all these robotics and then head down into coupling where we do have the sloth coupler which is a lovely little docking node and useful for say picking up some cargo pieces docking to another one of these sloth rovers to make a chain and just really whatever you want to dock to it'll work and it's wonderful now then in payload we do have the cargo pallet for this particular particular vehicle, which is pretty nice there. I do like it. As you can see, we have attachment points on the top and bottom, the front and back, side and side, 
and then a four along here on the bottom. So we've got a lot of good options for where to connect things to, which is very handy. And it, well, does look like a more sci-fi inspired palette for you to pick things up on, which is pretty great and perfect for all of your cargo needs. Now after that, we've got nothing in aerodynamic. In ground, though, I believe we have our last part. Hold on, let me check one moment here quickly. And yes, that is our last part in ground, and it is the sloth wheel with a stress tolerance of 900, braking torque of uh, 3, and a max speed of 34 meters per second, and is just a handy little wheel. There we go. Zoom right on in, and uh, yeah, there we go. Those are all of the parts that make up the sloth cargo robot system which is a pretty nice so let's open up a monstrosity of a sloth robot that i did make earlier and show off what it can do why is that showing oh it's huh i must have broken something with it oh no i didn't click it oh my god i got really worried there for a moment it's like wait wait did i break something already no here we go we have a fun little kind of weird robot here that i've made which of course has the different joints so that it can for instance say raise itself up if you did so desire so if you had some cargo on the ground you can lower the whole body load it onto it and then raise the whole thing up for various terrains i then added on on some weird arms on the side for reasons. Now, I haven't actually programmed any of these things with the actual, you know, uh, commands and controls, etc., that we do have in Breaking Ground, as I just really wanted to show off the basic body usage. And with you and your talents of creating those various robotic controls in here, you could have fun just making whatever options you desire to make your cargo robot more useful. But let's Let's just take it out into the world and take a look at how it does move at the very least on its own and how those wheels do work out for it and all in all as you can see it's kind of poorly built because i mean hey it's me making it so it kind of leans off to one side but it does function pretty well and if you did make it a bit more stable as you probably would if you were making something serious for your missions eh, it would probably work out a lot better but overall you know the wheels work well the different uh joints and various structural pieces hold together nicely even with my stupid designs and all in all it works pretty well and i love when it flops when it runs out of power it just <laughs> It amuses me. I don't know why. I really like when these robotic pieces in this DLC just kind of crumble to the ground. It's wonderful. But yes, that is really it for this episode. It's a fun little mini mod of cool robotic pieces to help you have a little bit more fun in the Breaking Ground DLC. So if you'd like to check out this mod for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next when hopefully we'll pl be playing around with yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one!